Okay, here we are, part 500 million of this whole thing. Um, this is the intense stuff, uh, the, the controversial parts. And uh, there was an NDA that was signed, uh, but apparently it doesn't matter that the NDA was signed because when we made that agreement, I guess the other person didn't mean it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and have to go into the beyond uh, to tell the full story since, you know, otherwise it's like my hands are basically just bound and I can't defend myself, which, you know, is it's not exactly what most people would call fair. One person being able to speak and the other person not being able to speak. Anyway, um, so the whole Sarah thing, uh, she was rejected repeatedly which I thought was very mean and very insensitive how many times she was rejected. Um, but when she did initially uh, go up and kiss Kai and Kai was freaked out by it, uh, she immediately came downstairs and hugged me. And, and I was like so indifferent to the whole thing as far as my emotions, like as far as um, how motivated I felt to be a part of it because I didn't feel like attraction to her. Um, I was more so interested in the idea of Sarah fulfilling this giant hole in Kai's life. Um, and you could say, well, couldn't they just be friends? That's a really good point. Um, but that's not what I think Sarah wanted because, you know, she did push to kiss Kai. Uh, she did actually plant one on Kai and then said uh, when she actually did kiss Kai and it was really weird. Anyway, so she came downstairs. I was on a, a circular chair. Um, you see in some of my old videos, we got rid of it since, but she came down and she just laid hugging me. And I was like, what? Like, I was like, I guess good job then or whatever. Cause I was just really, it kind of felt like I was, I was, and this is condescending and doesn't really like line up, but I felt like I was dealing with the drama that was beneath me. Um, the whole Sarah trying to kiss Kai thing, I just thought it was so stupid. Because um, I just, that's not the type of relationship that I'm like, if you want to kiss somebody, you just kiss somebody. You don't make a big deal uh, out of it uh, for her and and Kai in that situation. Um, anyway, so the first kiss that they ever had was probably around November and December. Um, I say probably because it might have been later, not earlier. Um, and then... Uh, they had this discussion between them via text that was like maybe Kai could trust Sarah to to potentially uh, one day be in a relationship, maybe not. And again, Sarah was 18 and, and a half when this happened, this conversation. And then it kind of fell apart and then it kind of got pieced back together. And then um, I said, hey, Sarah, uh, you know, uh, we should probably do an NDA. So like if we ever have a falling out or anything, then we won't go around trashing each other and we'll just be civil and adults about it. Um, whatever happens, because uh, Sarah had now planted a kiss on Kai and from uh, previous situations that I'd been in, I just didn't want to hate that person. I didn't want to have, you know, legal beef or any beef with them. Um, I, you know, like slanderous is what I mean by legal. Um, and so Sarah said, and I quote, only if I get what I want. And we were all in bed when she said that. Not naked or anything like that. Like, we were all clothed and everything was fine. Um, I think we had just finished, like, wrestling. Like, actual WWE playing around wrestling. Like, I was like, let's wrestle. And we were, like, you know, headlock. And the goal was to have uh, Kai and Sarah defeat me 2v1. But they didn't. They sucked. Sarah's pretty strong, but... They weren't good enough because obviously I, I'm, I'm bigger. So people think I'm five foot like seven. I'm actually five taller. <laughs> five nine hundred. No, I'm yeah. Um, anyway, uh, five eleven. <laughs> I'm five eleven and three quarters or two quarters, whatever. Uh, but yeah, so we wrestled and then um, I said no, but seriously, we should do an NDA. And she said only if I get what I want. And everyone knew she meant sex. Everyone there. It was so obvious she meant SEX. Um, I think Kai and her had kissed again since then. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure. Uh, they had implied a relationship uh, through those those texts, I think, in early January. 
um, just because uh, Sarah had shown some serious, um, we, we believed in her and we thought that she would be like the most kind and considerate and compassionate. She said that she was a second mom to um, uh, toddlers that exist in our life. Uh, so we thought that she cared about them. We thought that she was just this like this adult who you know might be uh, a contribution and and awesome and maybe this is we, we were just not even the person was there and we weren't even see her um, and the reason we didn't see her is because we didn't consider her an option at all um, like the last Christmas I think it was the last Christmas um, oh my god I don't know I yeah, I think it was actually the most recent Christmas. I made a joke about um, her dating someone else, like her own age, and she got so mad at me. And I was like, ah, oh, you should date that person. Um, because, you know, we were kind of like, not into her. And uh, she got so angry at us for even like, for me even implying that. And so that was a clear indication that she was, you know, not about it. Um, anyway, so, uh, we had wrestled, we had, um, you know, gotten to that point where there was a vibe and we felt like something might happen someday, I don't know. Um, but then Sarah said that she would only sign an NDA if she got what she wanted. And unfortunately, a few months prior, she joked about being able to destroy our lives if she wanted to. And that's sad, but I didn't take it seriously. I took it as a joke back... Then I think she was like 18 in a few months. She's like, you know, if I wanted to, I could destroy your lives. And I, I was just like, ha ha ha. But that kind of got the gears spinning in my head. Like maybe I should have this person sign an NDA because I don't want them going around saying horrible things. Um, even if, you know, if they're untrue, uh, you could still take legal action because of the NDA. You know, um, if they were true, I just didn't know what she'd be talking about. It was less, less was like that booty though, that comment. Um, but I didn't want her going around saying, oh, that booty though, that booty though, or anything like that. So, uh, yeah. But as I've reiterated repeatedly, um, nothing inappropriate happens, I guess, outside that booty though comments uh, prior to her turning 18 and a half. Um, she planted that kiss on Kai and there wasn't anything else. I hadn't done anything. Kai hadn't done anything. But uh, once she said, you know, I'm only going to uh, sign this NDA if you sleep with me, um, was the clear message there, um, we felt pressured, like we had no choice, um, because I had remembered that comment prior uh, of her saying she could ruin my life if she wanted to. So we slept with her. Uh, well, that's, no, I slept with her and she uh, performed oral on Kai. Um, Kai can't say was 100% on board. Um, I was uh, more on board than Kai. So um, I, I actually slept with Sarah like 100% um, on January of 2019 for the first time ever. Uh, first time I had ever been intimate with her or anything. And after that, it seemed like everything was okay. Um, it seemed like things were fine. And then I think we did our stuff together the next day as well. Um, and I, I think then Sarah left. I don't remember why or anything like that. She just left. And uh, I think she was planning to come back um, after that. But then I think there was some jealousy issues or something like that. And... Uh, yeah, eventually we got to the point where um, Kai had decided that he just didn't want anything to do with Sarah in that regard and wanted to go back to a friendship status because Kai didn't want to date Sarah. Kai didn't really even want to be with Sarah ever. Um, and that's kind of a hard thing for me to admit because I would ignore the signs. Um, and that's it's really bad for me to admit that. Really, really bad. But, you know, when you do something that's not good, it's important to be honest with yourself. So, Sarah wanted to be with Kai. 
I wanted to be with Kai, Sarah wanted to be with me, I was fine with being with Sarah um, at 18 and a half, I didn't see the problem with it. Uh, if you can die for your country, you can sleep with someone. Um, anyway, uh, but Kai I don't think wanted to be with Sarah. And I, Kai actually verbally told me that, um, I don't know when, I think it was after the fact, that he really just wanted a relationship with me and no one else. So there's a lot of guilt on Sarah and I, a lot, for what we did to Kai. And later on, I wrote Kai a really mean text telling Kai that Kai was a horrible person, that Kai took Sarah's virginity, which just isn't true. Uh, Kai never did anything to Sarah other than kiss back. It's literally the only thing that Kai did was kiss back. And Sarah went down there on Kai, and Kai didn't like that either. Um, Kai just didn't want it. Uh, and so I say it again, Kai wanted to be with me, Kai did not want to be with Sarah. Um, I was cool with being with Sarah, but, and Sarah was wanted to be with me, as she indicated repeatedly, but Kai was pulled into something that, and maybe that's why Kai don't want me to talk about it, maybe. There's a hint, because Kai went through something traumatic and horrible that he never wanted, so it seems. Um, except for that very fluky period and like I think it was the beginning of January or late December or something like that when he was just having a mood and texted some things about like maybe teasing the idea but then just didn't want to again. And I would say that borderline makes Sarah and I very evil people. Anyway, so Yeah, so that sucks for Kai. Um, I later on accused Sarah of some things and we haven't taken legal action against her uh, because it's such a messy topic. Uh, but to see Kai dragged through the mud is like beating someone who's an obvious victim down till they just want to not live. So when I see Kai receiving this and, and all that, it's a horrifying thing for me. But Kai would not let me talk. Um, to protect his privacy, probably. To let him have his own life. But this is, this is uh, yeah. Okay. So I'll continue the story uh, more in depth. Um, Sarah knows what she did. And I know what Sarah did, and I know my part in that. Let's talk to you in a minute.